Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a couple of buttons here on your main activity screen. So let's get started. Let me minimize the emulator here. So at this point, there's no a button. So the easiest way is to go to Drawable because we are going to create our own custom button. In fact, easier. Let me first demonstrate that. If I go to Design View here, I can simply add a button. Okay. So for instance, here are the attributes. So here I can simply drag a button and drop it. And I have a button here, okay? So if I click twice on the button here, I'll have the attributes, in other words, all of the options that I can play around with, such as the style, the text, content description. And then if I click on view all attributes, it kind of gives me a whole list of options, right? Like padding, I can choose constraints and so on so if you scroll down you'll notice there's quite a bit that I can do with the button so if I would like to change the color here I can pick a resource or I can click on the color icon here or if I need to have a custom color I can do a color accent from the project bring up the color palette and then of course type my own color not I can just use the material pink 600 and that's about it. So similarly, text direction, I can pick and choose whether this is going to be horizontal or vertical text, whether the text is selectable, the text size. I can pick and choose the scale pixels here, for instance. So let's say if I choose 14, that will be the size. Text style will be normal, bold, italic, choose tip can be inserted. And then of course the elevations as well so just basics of all of the attributes that you have for this particular button that you can change go back to my attributes here so here I have the constraint layout I can set those as well if not if I'm satisfied with this then that's good okay so the message here says that this view is not constrained vertically okay Remember, the button is horizontal, but I, we need to constrain this vertical rate. So I'm just going to drag on the top and then do the same constraint at the bottom. Now that means that it's constrained to this particular view. So whatever I move this button now, it's going to perfect. So that way now I know exactly where to position this particular button. I can, of course, change the size of the button directly on my design. And once again, if I need to bring up the attributes, I can. And the text here says button. I'm going to go ahead and type the text. Say post west. And then it changes in the background. So you can see it in your design area. Okay. And then this is the text to display. So if I need to add this in, I could. I can also add a content description, which is the code is available that's what you choose you can do so you can bring up the by pressing the control and space bar on your keyboard this brings up the at string and remember a better way of coding is to use strings right so if I can choose post delivery underscore req as the string here you can always hard code the coding as well okay it's a good practice to use strings. So let's say I have this button bigger. It just depends on my own requirement as to how I wish this button and how much bigger do I want this button to be. So I'd like to place two buttons here. First, for the post delivery request, and the other one is become a driver or become a writer. I can also choose other attributes, like I mentioned, and you can again play with it. One thing that you notice here is the button style. Within the attributes, I can click on the drop down arrow. And then choose widget app comeback button. It's going to change the shape. If I choose, let's say, if I scroll down, there's several options, by the way. If I choose the material components, it's going to change the shape of that button. And likewise, you can play with it and depends on what type of button you're actually looking for. So once you select the style here, of course, you can just kind of make it bigger and see what your button is going to look like once you work with it. So let's say if you were to choose the material button colored, 
and then the text appearance is going to use the same and then of course you can use the font family you can use the typeface the text size can be changed the line spacing the text color for instance can also be changed so again based on your own requirement you can make the text bold italicize and so on so there are several attributes that you can take a look at regarding the button so i'm going to leave this for now so that at least we have an idea of how to insert a particular button on our menu so once we have the button hide this here make this move this button up a little bit just a little bit here and then notice there's an icon here right so it says hard-coded string post delivery request should use at string resource so i'm going to go ahead and click on this informational sign and again this is back to the same good coding practice right so as a good coding practice you need to have a string so to do this you'd have to go to strings or strings.xml and then add there but here the good thing is that it gives you the fix right here so you can extract the string resource right from here so i'm going to go ahead and click on fix it brings up a small dialog box it says resource name post delivery request is automatically filled up for us resource value main is going to create the strings.xml file i'm going to click ok and that's about it so notice the information sign is now gone but were to visit and navigate to my strings.xml, I should have, there it is, okay, an entry added. You could have added it manually as well, perfect. So let's go back to our activity underscore main. So this is how you would actually add a button. And of course, once you have a button, you can go to the text and then change the attributes or change whatever it is that you want to change. You want to change the padding, you'd like to change the layout height, you want to change the background. For instance, if you don't like the color primary, you can change. You can also change the logo and so forth. Well, this is for the widget toolbar. Let me scroll down to the button here. Here we go, perfect. All right, so I was wondering why I was I doing this. Okay, perfect. Here's the button, okay, tag. And here are all the attributes for the button that we just created. So you can change the width, height, margin as per your own liking. Here's the text. And notice here the text is coming from a string, right? Which is actually coming from the strings.xml file. Great. And then you also have the text size, the parent, the constraints are here, all grouped together, and then the layouts. And of course, you can add additional ones as per your own liking. So if you change the color, for instance, of the text, you can do so. So this is your homework. Go ahead, add some more attributes within your button, customize your button to your own requirement and with this let's move to the next lesson